vlogmas day five it's a drum five save water cut your shower time down to one epic song well i think we save water because we have sit down showers because we don't have a proper shower the one that is in the bathroom leaks so i think we help a little bit already i love this one this is a strawberry shower gel does anyone else have this i've woken up this is my area my pillow is on its side and paul uh, this is why we need a king size bed after i shared about the pampas grass someone sent me this picture and said look you can dye it as well just replying to some messages this morning i've had so many replies to saying i'm wrapping my presents in brown paper this year and also to the garland that i started showing my progress of and this is the one look Hello. this is the one Hello. i'm in that's so freaky how freaky was that i literally walked in the door like well ran in the door needing to charge my laptop and i look up and i'm like this is the episode i'm in and when it was aired it was aired a couple of years ago and i was in new york and i woke up and my phone had blown up and everyone was messaging me being like oh my god leanne you're keeping up with the kardashians what are the chances that was on as i came in they already put it together but now we'll put the lights on decorate and then it will be all ready for christmas like my video with paul we've got a good system going on this tree how old is it dirty something it's older than me i love doing the decorations because you guys have so many some of them are really old don't you have um some decorations from when were they when you like moved to england were they that old yeah <laughs> anyone else have these trees and then you have to pick them all up and then find where to put them on the tree now oh, where do these go where are your big, biggest ones because big ones go more towards the bottom right yeah. my little tree that's why this year for our main tree i made it more traditional i put more colors in it here is an example of one of my mum's older decorations how old is this one 1970 wow we've done the elm christmas haul i mentioned that one of the santa bauble things i got reminded me of one of my parents and this is the one i was saying what's been your favorite christmas memory daddy what's been your favorite christmas memory first christmas is with the kids what with both of us yes do you prefer christmas when we were younger or do you still like yeah because you play you're younger and you play with them this Christmas, everyone doesn't know what they want. I still don't know what to get you guys. Anyone else have this problem? Do the lights every year. But did we do good? Not too bad, I think. Oh, Dad gave a compliment. That's rare. Going through the comments to pick a winner, Vlogmas number three has had the most entries so far. The winner picked at random is Caroline. Congratulations. I love announcing the winners because people are always like, oh my god, this made my day. So I've just announced the winner and they've just replied as well. So yeah, on to the next one. This is so much fun. I hope you're all enjoying being introduced to lots of new brands. I'm so happy with everyone and they're all quite different. You know, we did have two bubble ones, but apart from that, everyone is very different. We've, there's quite a few local Norwich people as well. I need to reply to my comments, but when I had a notification from Mel, this made my day. She, I think for the past two vlogmases she comments every single day so i've been uploading these i've been wondering where's mel she hasn't commented at all but she said that she's finally had some time off and has been able to binge watch i've just uploaded my latest video and she is one of the first to comment so hi mel thank you for following third year in a row i think i'm going to need a little mini break and I have myself a little mince pie mr kipling, mr. kipling exceedingly good cakes that's his tagline right i had a little break to choose a winner my mum has just gone full steam ahead look at these ones i think my mum got these when i was really little getting out the candles on tv we've got xeno warrior princess who else used to watch this i used to watch this with my dad all the time look at me <laughs> i think i look 
well maybe not there i think i kind of look asian there this was the classic fountain hairstyle my mum did for me can you remember the first time you saw snow Cold. <laughs> my mum is from a very, very hot country when we visited. Oh my god, my hair was like poof! Mum doesn't really like humid, hot places, so she prefers the climate in the UK. But when it's too cold, then not so much. Oh, I love it! It's so many! Give me a cuddle! Looking good, mummy! I'm coming at you from my old bed. This is lovely calf kids and bedding. This is the 12 days of Christmas prize number five. You'll get to win your very own handmade soy candle by Crossley Collective. And you'll get to pick one of the six cents as your prize. As usual, to enter, follow these guys on Instagram, subscribe to both of my channels, comment on this video, and don't forget to leave your Instagram handle. I made this ready to share on my Instagram stories tomorrow, but this is all their different scents, so Monday morning, Woodland Walk, Victoria Peak, Sweet Escape, Christmas Kiss, and Red Robin. I think the next one I really want to try is Woodland Walk. That one has amber, cedarwood, teakwood, and fig. So this one is the Sweet Escape. Inside that is pineapple, mango, mint, and melon. So I'll read the information for you guys. It's made from 100% soy wax, which is derived from soybeans, which is 100% biodegradable and eco-friendly. These candles have a 40 hour burn time and they use no plastic in the packaging. This is their Instagram. Look how beautiful the photography is. This looks so cute. So as it's setting with the wick being held in place, and once they're set, trimming down the wicks. This is the event that Paul is playing at tomorrow. So with his band Prey Drive, they are playing at Epic. So if you book online, it is free. If you turn up at the door, it is three pounds. So I'm opening up some PR parcels that I've been sent. This is from, I think you pronounce it, is it Ciate London? This is one of their new palettes. So actually there's two palettes. There's Jeweled and there's Burnt. And on the back, all the different looks that they've created with them it is 29 pounds oh my god i love the packaging and they've even sent along some astronaut food vanilla ice cream sandwich and neapolitan ice cream sandwich i'll try those with paul from pixie i have this package and two new highlighters Gilded Bear Glow, Pink Champagne Glow, and they included a selfie light so you get that highlight pop it. I have this parcel obviously covering up my address, but look how, how nicely they've handwritten my name. I love how they did my name, so I've cut that out and kept it. But this is one of the upcoming prizes. This is day 11, so I will wait till that day comes before I share it with you, but it's amazing. I'm going to film Paul's reaction to him seeing giveaway prize number 11 and the one that we had done. Are you ready? Wow, it looks amazing. How good is it? And I didn't think it was going to come in a frame as well. That was so nice of them. But you guys will have to wait until day 11. This couple, this is when they planted their little Christmas tree in 1978. Now look at that. That's ridiculous. 52 foot. Wow. Looking through this Walkinson's catalogue, I really love what they did. Here, if you don't have a tree skirt, get some logs. They're around like four pounds for a bag and then just put them on the bottom. Starting to collect newspapers. Dad has saved these for us, so we're, we're getting there. Oh my God, it won't stop. He's got loads of these fabulous magazines as well. So if you didn't see my other vlogmas, if you're wondering why I'm collecting all these, someone suggested if I didn't have a chimney balloon to block up the chimney, to put loads of newspapers in a bin bag and shove that up there. Now back home, I can finally show you the things that I also got from Argos. So Paul was moaning we don't have a proper casserole dish. So I got this one. It's 3.3 .3 litre cast iron dish. They have them in larger sizes, but um, I think this is perfect. Inside this box, ooh. A set of copper pans. These look beautiful. Obviously have a bit of a copper theme going on in the kitchen, so these will work really, really nicely. The other thing we got is a chopping board, so in the next cooking show segment, you'll see it then. In bed, I'm about to finally reply to comments. I'm just skimming through 
And then one of these said that her and her sister have a piano in their apartment and they were going to get rid of it. But after Paul's suggestion of a piano bar, they might do that. You are influential, my darling. Mm. One comment I saw, someone said that they missed your cooking segment. But like, well. he's only done one cooking segment. I've had two. And my cooking segment's not enjoyable. I just bring a bit of spice to it, you know? Aww. A bit of... A bit of... You know. When you next cooking, because it's your turn next. I think Saturday I'll do something easy. I'll probably do pasta with sausages. And I know that sounds weird, but it's actually really good. That doesn't sound weird. That's, that's well, you, you cook pasta and you do the sauce and you do the vegetables and then you cook sausage separately. And what you do is you then chop them up into little bits and then chuck them in the mix and mix it up. It's really good. Don't give away the cooking secrets yet. They have to tune in to that segment. There you go. Tune in to that segment. Are my cooking segments enjoyable? Is Paul the star of the show? Why am I a ghost right now? <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> Thank you for everyone that's leaving comments. Look at all of these. Wonderful. Wonderful. I haven't already. Why haven't you subscribed? They should be like, why have I not subscribed? This is a great channel. These are great people. We should follow. We should subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, you're my hype subscribe. man. Thanks, baby. So I'm going to... And if you get a spare moment, subscribe to my channel. Okay. Maybe that will make me put a video up. I don't know. Paul has a channel. I do. He's got one video. Which I filmed and edited for mm, him. Ben. And that was our engagement story, like his side. And then I'll link down to that video. I'll also link down to my video. So be saying it from my side. You, ah, you plug me. Plug me, girl. <laughs> that sounds weird. Oh, what were we talking about in the car? That if you used your channel, what would you upload on it? Oh, it what would you want to see? Cooking videos, right? Paul should have his own cooking YouTube channel. Yeah, but channel. they're not healthy. So? Well, it's all about being healthy now. Whereas mine will just be like, how to get fat. <laughs> Yours will be like real meals that you actually eat, you actually cook, not or just... Or if you live a hectic lifestyle like me where you work 9 to 5 and then maybe you've got a DJ in the evening or you know, you've got home and you just want to have cooking out of the way and you just want to eat and, and, and watch a film, then um, these are the kind of meals that you're going to want to know about. <laughs> Leave your suggestions below if Paul was to do YouTube, what video should he do? It won't happen, but we'd like to read the suggestion. <laughs> tomorrow is a big day, tomorrow is Paul's gig. Yeah, I'm a rock star. I've already shown everyone the thing, I think it was on Facebook. If you wanna come, come say hi, be in the vlog. I'm playing a gig in Norwich, which will be tonight from 7 p.m. Epic Studios. We'll see you there. Let's say bye to Hell everyone. Yeah. Goodbye.